Hey guys, welcome back to Big Rick Fix. Today we're going to be replacing an alternator in 2012-2018 Freightliner Cascade with the Cummins ISX-15. So, let's get to it guys. Alright guys, let's get this going. Um, first things first is disconnect the, disconnect the batteries first. Right now I'm just moving the intake hose to the CAC. And those clamps are half inch uh, sockets, and the other one I think it's 7 16 That's, I think, 3 8 Alright, guys, uh, now I'm moving the main power wire, which I think it's 9 16 socket. And I would recommend taking pictures of where these wires go if you have your camera or your phone on you. Just sometimes you can forget where they go exactly. And right now, I'm ha I think that's, uh, I think it's a 16 millimeter, and I'm taking the mounting bolts off. First, I forgot just to, you gotta disconnect to uh, loosen the, the t belt tensioner, which is a uh, um, half inch drive. I use an extended uh, ratchet to loosen the tensioner, to take the tension off the belt tensioner. Loosen the belt, just let the belt down, as it, and then now I'm going to finish uh, taking the mounting bolts off. I'm going to take the, um, there's an intake hose to the turbo to the filter housing to move this out of the way so I can pull the alternator from the back end of the engine. I take the clamps off of the that hose and I'm, I'm using my rubber mount to hit it off I didn't really get a good picture of that with the camera where I had it set up sorry about that it just slides right off and um, so now I'm gonna back, pull the alternator to the to the rear of the engine and pull this out and I have it on these alternators that's a 24 millimeter or a 15 16 and I do this all the time you just I use my impact and just keep on going and take the pulley off and the bolt always comes off and just slide that off. Sometimes you may need uh, some heel bars to pull that off if they're really rusted and take the and put it on the new one and just tighten it up. If you'd like to torque, go ahead and do that. And then we're going to install it back in. Alright guys, the bolts are different on these. The rear bottom bolt is longer. So make sure you get the um, bolts in the right length in the right spot. Yeah, just make sure you put the wires, wires in the right spot. Um, the power wire is usually the biggest one, the red positive one. So that's pretty simple. But sometimes I've had times where I put the wires on, in the wrong spot and then the, you get the battery warning light in and it says it's not charging. So I've had that happen once before. Um, so that's why I recommend taking a picture of it. So you know, or tag it, whatever you want to do. Just make sure you put them in the right spots.
guys on this paper, just make sure you move it and it tells you right there because you want to get a good contact for ground. Alright guys, it's, you can see it's all done, all the inners in, it's ready to go, pretty simple job. Alright guys, thanks for watching, please like, subscribe, and if you want to donate to the channel, there's a PayPal account below, and any tools I'll put in the description, and uh, thanks for watching, check out the videos on the left and right, if you like to see other ones, go to my channel, I have tons more other videos you can check out, that may help you out. Alright guys, see you later, have a good one, bye.